Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments. Put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons, meant to guide us. To save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No! These bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings? You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them! Ah! Ah! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. Why? Why have you done this? Men must be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong, and that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah ad and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war, that sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafi. Upon you as well. Time, Understand as an ammo launch window. Wherever it's hidden, time to retrieve it. I'm working on it. And when it's done, he'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself.
Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge, kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be, we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Salim, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool, one that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes, I know. He dreamed, and still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true, then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me, but there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land, 
This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Ceresis working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange tale. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend. Bring that to your master, then. It contains everything you asked for. Your assistance in this most delicate of matters is greatly appreciated. It is my job to keep the peace. And keep it you will. You'll have no trouble from us. It's not you and yours that concern me, but the citizens. You picked a strange time to visit our city. We've simply come to pay our respects. And stir up trouble for it. It's not my fault your people can't tell enemy from friend. Look, you've got what you came for. I think it's best you were on your way. Redemption. A chance to begin anew! Let us make peace with the Crusaders. Let us live as one. We must be strong, we must be brave, and we must find the courage to face those we once called our enemies and now instead call them friends. The Crusaders come to Jerusalem bringing with them an opportunity to end the fighting, to stop the war. That we may stand as one, we must not turn them away. You speak of peace, but your words are hollow. No, I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am? Then you are also a liar and a fraud, just like your master. Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. But this is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. Did you see them? No, but I've heard the whispers. Is it true? Crusader knights in Jerusalem? It is. And? Different from the others. Finely dressed and bearing expensive gifts. <sighs> we should relieve them of this burden. <laughs> They've made camp near David's citadel, close to the cemetery. To attend a funeral? So it seems. Then let us visit their camp while they pay their respects.